primarily so that uh, uh, it wouldn't be used as a weapon against uh, innocent people. There are a lot of good things that that can be used for. So uh, the basis of it is that uh, I'm not going to confirm anything Fulford says simply because he is not within the inner loop at this point. That and there are many HARP facilities, including at least two which are mobile. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you so much for your call, Ray. Uh, our next caller is uh, Alex. Yes. Alex is from the 414 area code. Alex, you're bringing you up now? Uh, yep, I'm, I'm up. Okay. All right. Yeah, Drake, I was just wondering, um, in your interview with David, you talked about, like, a 24-hour notice for, like, everything to go public, right? Like Pretty much, room. yes. Uh, <laughs> what's going to transpire is that uh, um, a lot of this action is going to be um, – given to us ahead of time so that we can li uh, liven up the li internet a little bit and uh, inform as many people that it is taking place and uh, then there's going to be a nice little public display of people in handcuffs going to jail that's my understanding is the way this is supposed to work so and uh, and when this goes mainstream is it going to be like uh, on like on like the television on like cable and stuff and everyone's going to be seeing all everything that they've done um, I don't know about everything that they've done. Basically, you're going to see people uh, being stuck in the paddy wagon to take a trip to the FEMA camps they built for us. Um, this is going to be on each and every last channel that uh, they can acquire. Uh, my understanding is that the military can uh, access any and all channels, so it probably will be on each and every channel, and you won't be able to change what you're watching. Um, for a few, yeah, for a few, and I don't know how long it'll take them to uh, quit broadcasting that, but uh, that's what I would start looking for. Right on, and I and I know you're not expecting it, but is there a possibility of a uh, like a rioting situation or anything like that in the cities? People freaking out, kind of thing. It's possible, but the information that uh, I've given on uh, various interviews. It's posted on the uh, Freedom Rames we website. Um, the uh, issue of uh, calming the population was one that the uh, Pentagon requested that I uh, try to accomplish, and I'm in touch with uh, a load of underground people such as uh, um, militias, uh, freedom groups, etc., and I am trying to get the word out that uh, don't worry about it. It ain't martial law. You'll see things moving. You'll see things happening. Um, yes, be ready, but don't uh, engage anybody. Uh, you know, don't shoot at somebody just because they're wearing a uniform, whether it's a cop or uh, military. Uh, you know, keep it calm, cool, and collected, and watch and see. Uh, do be very vigilant. Um, there are some rogue elements out there that you uh, and everyone else need to be watching for. If they get loose, uh, they might try to do some damage to something. And to be quite frank, if the military can't, don't think they can get there in time to stop them, they may call a militia and say, hey, they're coming after your power station or they're going to ruin the communications in your area. Uh, go make sure they can't do that until we get there. And so we need a combination of all of the citizenry, as well as militias and freedom groups and whatever, working together with this. Now, the other part of it is is to remain calm, cold, and collected. The reason I'm saying this is that the smoothness and the uh, intricacy of the plan when implemented may not be something you'll even notice any difference about. So, you know, going to work and, you know, all of a sudden the news comes up and cool, uh, and then go from there, basically. All right. Yeah, I got uh, just one more quick question. Um, this is kind of pertaining to the whole, like the same subject. But uh, so, like, let's say it all goes down, would it be safe for people like me to be living in my apartment in the city, or should I go up to the North Woods for like a week or something like that? Primarily, you should basically be safe. It depends on the type of neighborhood you live in, in terms of economic level. 
Now, the usually the problems start in the poorer neighborhoods because they are most reliant on the government not being interf interfered with so they can get the check they need to survive on. And I'm fully aware and understand that, and so does the military and the police. Now, there is not going to be any slack given because uh, somebody happens to be uh, having problems in terms of their uh, check not showing up when it should. Bear in mind, there's a, there's yeah. real, a sure. real simplistic thing to this. If yeah. these people yeah. are going to yeah. take care of these problems, one of the things they will do is make sure that, at the very least, your uh, basic utilities are not turned off. They're not going to um, look for trouble, but try to intermingle with the populace in general and say this is not necessary. We're all on the same side. We're getting ready to get free. Now, right on. People, people, that, people that are uh, under the thumb of the government think they've signed on when they take that check or whatever. This is partially true, but it's also partially not true. So you have to understand that um, helping, helping to make the transition easier means that food and water is going to be available. Uh, Etc. So, I would suggest most people uh, are not in any danger because this is a governmental and financial operation, and the governmental portion of it, in terms of the uh, military, have to abide by the Constitution. In terms of, we the people will be the authority. We've given them authority to take the action. The next part comes from everybody. So be prepared to start voting like crazy because there's a lot of stuff we've got to do. Yeah, yeah. And one last question. I'm going to ask it and hang up so I don't ask anymore. But uh, after the arrest and after people see all these major names getting locked up and thrown away, how much time till like, the public gets exposed to like the ideas of like the Illuminati and if that actually exists? which I kind of does, I don't know, and, like, all, all the nonsense that they've been doing for the past hundreds of years. All that's going to be part of the uh, upcoming education that everybody's going to be made available to, and, I mean, everybody who can be. You'll have a radio station or and or TV stations on broadcast and or Internet and or cable and or satellite. There will be a channel available that will run programs that will show exactly what's going on, uh, the families involved, uh, some of the individuals, and all of the structure of the uh, bad guys, I'll say. So that's part of the education. The second part of it is going to be how an individual is to operate as a free person, what your limitations are going to be. A lot of the uh, difference is going to come from common law. So think about common law, look it up on the internet and uh, become familiar with it. That's going to be the new law of the land. <laughs> well, the reinstated law of the land. Um, I'd like to point something out, too, because I don't want people to get the wrong impression. Uh, this is not going to be like a giant sweep of a chessboard knocking all the pieces off. Um, it's not so simple as there can be a, a gigantic, massive arrest all at the same time of all the criminals in the country, and that's going to solve this, this country's problems overnight. This is going to take a long time to fix what's, what's completely been uh, subverted. And there is an issue that you have to realize. Um, nobody yet knows who all of the criminal entities may be. It is going to fall on the people in the local areas to identify who is involved and who is not in their local governments, in their local law enforcement, their sheriff's department, and whatever. Uh, there's no white knight coming over the hill to just round everybody up in one 24-hour period. And there are other aspects to the restoration of civil authority uh, and this, uh, our Republican 
constitutional form of government, which must take place and are even more important than arresting bad guys in Washington, D.C. That may not be first. There are other details that are even more important than that. So I yield the floor. All right. Thank you, Terry. So our next caller is Mark, and I am working on bringing Mark up now. Mark, are you there? Hey. Yeah, can you hear me Hello. okay? We hear can you. Can you hear me okay? Oh, okay. Yes. Um, let's see. I, I don't know if you know anything. Uh, I guess you get tired of hearing time frame questions because I missed a few minutes there or somebody was asking about the RV, but I gather what you're saying is it will happen when it happens be patient, right? So, <laughs> um, but one thing uh, that has concerned me is that when people see all this evil on the part of those they've been conditioned to trust and respect because they've used words like honor and integrity, yada, 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 uh, I take it part of the re-education process is to remind people that even though terms like psychopath and sociopath were not known to the founders, they knew that type and they knew that they gravitated to positions of authority. So I guess one of the part of the re-education is to remind people that the worst part of society tends to gravitate to positions of authority in the government, and we need to re-educate people that this is not a blanket indictment of humanity other than, gee, aren't we gullible for letting them do this, right? Are we, are we basically, is, does that sound about right, about what, one of the major things we need to remind people about? Jerry? I didn't understand the question. Well, yes, I, yes just... we need to be able to be aware that positions of power are usually aspired to, you know, by those who we would least want to sit there. Uh, right. your, your best leaders are those you have to convince to lead. Well, yeah, the thing that, like I say, my concern is that when people see this evil attributed to the people that they thought highly of, uh, that's going to cause them to, you know, despair that all of humanity is just completely rotten. And we need to remind them that basically we've had this media grid that has exalted the corrupt among the deluded, and that delusion being stripped away does not mean that all humanity is rotten. It means that we've had a system that's been essentially upside down in certain respects. That's my yeah, thing. It, 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 want... it means as Sorry. a nation we've been had. And, yeah. you know, part the, the biggest weapon that was used against us was, in fact, our daily media, whether that mean television, movie, radio, newspaper, magazine. Uh, they own them all. Okay. So the message was the same from every direction. That doesn't yeah. mean humanity is is totally corrupt. It means those who owned all those entities are corrupt. Yeah, and that's that's a, I think that's a lesson we need to press forward in the future is to add that the price of liberty is eternal vigilance. And I've done on too many people doing bargain shopping and saying, well, let's see how I can cheapen this down and vigilantly look for some way to explain away things that I don't want to deal with, <laughs> and I'm like, that's not vigilance, that's, you know, you, you understand what I mean about people that are, they don't want to deal with it, so they, they, you know, we've all dealt with people that they don't want to deal with facts, so they want to, they want to find some way out of the, the, the situation we've gotten ourselves in, so, like I say, we're still, uh, well, I, I'm no, correct in understanding, sorry? That, the, the 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 entire nation indeed indeed the globe needs to understand there is no such thing as a quick fix and yep. there is no such thing as a free ride yep. so this is going to have to involve responsibility from every single individual who yep. wishes to be free because freedom is not free yep well, you know, I'm a very responsible person. Every time something goes wrong, they say I'm responsible. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, ask the right. time frame. Just, yeah, I guess, uh, sorry? Hey, I do I do move on to other callers, too, Mark. God bless you. All right, later. All right, thank you. 
Okay, our uh, next caller, we